Judge Ronald Hendricks rejected Bailsma's version of events, saying it was clear that he was angry after his relationship with Chanel ended. The court heard that days preceding the murder, Bailsma told his friend that he would make Chanel's life difficult until she committed suicide. Two days later, Chanel's body was found hanged. This court is satisfied that the state succeeded in proving beyond any reasonable doubt that the accused murdered Chanel Ho and Marna Ho by throttling them and also hanging Chanel Ho. The accused is therefore found guilty as charged on both counts. Post-mortem results explained how the two girls were quietly murdered. The accused throttled both Chanel and Marna so that they could not scream. That explains why no screams was heard by Uesta. He must have accosted them and throttled them unexpectedly from behind. Judge Hendricks said the other victim, Marna Engelbrecht, was caught in the crossfire. The accused planned the murder of Chanel. The murder of Marna was not premeditated or preplanned. The accused decided there and then that he, would, that he should kill Marna. The case has been postponed to Tuesday to allow the defense an opportunity to compile a pre-sentence report before the sentencing as the accused was under 18 years of age when he committed the crime. Bailsma will remain in custody. Silwane Khachau, SABC News, Northwest High Court in Mahike.